In the last video, we got our tab set up. Now in this one, I'm gonna build the layout for the account settings, or sorry, for the account fragment, and uh, build in the, the functionality for signing out. So actually, to start this one off, uh, just quickly go into styles, and I just wanna change all of the color before I forget. So uh, just like primary color, and let's change this to teal two, and then this one to blue two, and this one to teal one. And then that, that way that's just done, that's out of the way. So now let's go into uh, fragment account. And this is gonna be pretty simple. All it is, it's gonna be a single button and it's gonna be used for signing the user out. So I'll just create a button and do wrap content, wrap content, and give it an ID of, uh, I guess just sign underscore out. And let's see, get some text in there. Just do sign out and do some background. Do white on click gray and we'll do a margin on the top of 50 dp, and uh, I think that's it. Maybe center horizontal. Center horizontal true. So that should be good. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that should be that should be good. So we can close that, and now let's go into uh, count fragment, and let's start writing the code for this. So we need our Firebase stuff first of all. We just need the Firebase auth. So Firebase auth, uh, auth state listener, m auth state listener, and then we need our widgets. There's only just one widget, which is gonna be that button. So private button, uh, we'll just call it M sign out. And now we need to, actually I can close this, this pane to give us some more space and give us some more space down here too. So now do uh, M sign out equals button view, find view by ID, r to ID dot sign out. And then M sign out, set on click listener, new on click listener. And so I can say attempting to sign out the user. And now we need to set up all of our Firebase stuff down here. So we're gonna need to insert some override methods. We need on start, on start, and we also need on stop. And these are, this is required to use the auth state listener. So that's why I need to do this. Uh, get the Firebase instance, add the auth state listener in the on start method, so m auth state listener, and then in the on stop method, if the auth isn't null, so if this does not equal null, then we need to remove the listener or it will just be listening at all times. So Firebase auth get instance and then remove auth state listener, m auth state listener. Then I'm going to create a method called uh, setup auth, uh, Firebase listener, so private void setup. Firebase, Firebase listener. And let's just do setting up the auth state listener. So m auth state listener equals a new Firebase and then implement the auth state listener interface like that. And add your semicolon down here. So we have our auth state change method, override method here. And we want to get our Firebase user. So user equals Firebase auth dot get current user. And then we want to say if the user is not null. So if if user does not equal null, then we know we have somebody logged in. So I could just say signed in user dot get UID. And in that case, we don't want to do anything. And so so then, but else, if the user isn't signed in, then uh, we want to send them back to the login screen. So let's see, signed out, and we can do get activity, and just say signed out. So intent intent equals new uh, new intent get activity, and then we want to go to login activity dot class, and we can say uh, we want to basically reset everything. We want to remove everything from the activity stack, so we can add the, some flags for that. Uh, do intent dot flag activity new task and also intent dot flag activity clear task and that'll reset the activity life cycle and then we just do start activity uh, well sorry won't act yeah it'll, it'll remove all the activities from the activity stack so pressing the back button will basically do nothing okay and we want to just call this method up here so set up firebase listener and then inside of our sign out method we can do firebase auth dot get instance dot sign out that's it. So that will sign out our user. Uh, so that should be good. Let's uh, run it and see what it looks like.
Okay, so it looks like my fragment isn't coming through, so there must be a problem with the layout. Let's go into uh, activity search. And, uh, oh, we don't actually need this scroll view any here anymore. It was only for when we were testing. So uh, take, take the app layout behavior, post it into the view pager, and let's delete this nested scroll view. We don't need this anymore. And tab that in. We just need our view pager down here. That should, that should be good now. So let's try and run that again. Okay, so we'll go over to our account tab and there we go, we have the sign up button. So if I press the sign up button, it takes us back to the login screen and signs us out. Let's make sure everything is right in the uh, Android monitor. Uh, we should see signed out right there. Okay, cool. So everything is working as we expected. So in the next one, what we're gonna do is start working on posting an item to the database. So I'll build the layout for post fragment. So this right here. And uh, yeah, st probably just build the layout for post fragment to begin with because it's a pretty, it's kind of an involved layout. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. And then we'll work on posting an item to the database. So I'll see you guys in that next video.